What's up everybody? It's the Traverse City John Boater here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to quickly break down the new VMC bladed hybrid short shank treble hook. This is the size 2. They come in a size 2, 4, 6, and 8. As you can see, it's also got a willow blade attached to it. This thing puts off a lot of flash and bling. And it's attached by some type of enamel. I don't know what it is, but it seems pretty durable. This is a brand new hook. It just came out. I seen it at iCast on one of the review videos. And I immediately fell in love with this thing. I knew it was going to be fire right away. And by looking on Tackle Warehouse, it says it's, uh, it won Best Terminal Tackle of the Year at iCast. So other people must think the same thing too. These things come in two packs. You only get two per pack. And they are $6.29 per pack. So they are a little pricey. Um, but it's a great way to add flash or some new bling to your favorite lures. And that's what I did. I ordered one pack and I threw one on a Whopper Plopper 110. You may be thinking, why would you put that on a topwater? Well, at the beginning of the summer in some of my older videos, I fished the Maracker Frog a lot. And that's got what looks like a Colorado blade on the back. Well, a lot of fish were hitting that blade on that frog and not the frog itself, and I was missing strikes. So I thought the Whopper Plopper, if they come up and hit this, there's no way they're missing the hooks on this. So that's why I threw it on there. Um, and then I also threw it on the KVD uh, 2.5 square bill crankbait, which is another one of my favorite lures. They both worked great. It only took me one day to shoot this review and break this thing down. Caught tons of fish on it. I actually hit a grand slam with it. I caught bass. I got smallmouth, uh, largemouth, rock bass, and pike. So I caught four different species on it. And that was all on the crankbait. Uh, the Whopper Plopper only caught one fish. Might have been the biggest one of the day. Uh, but it really shined on that crankbait. It almost looks like a baby minnow just flapping on that crankbait. And I was uh, reeling really fast right by those thick, bushy, I mean, those massive bushy weed beds uh, under the surface. I'd cast to the side of those. I was pulling pike out left and right out of that thick bush. And that's where we're going to go into the durability factor on here. It looks really durable, like I said. And it might have been me. I might have, uh, when I was digging the hook out with pliers deep in one of those pike's mouths, I might have uh, knocked the spinner off. I don't know. But it was either me or the pike. And that's what it looks like. The enamel gives... And uh, the spinner goes bye-bye, and it leaves you with a good $3 hook. So, one went down on the very first day. It could have been the f fish with teeth that did it. It could have been me. I don't know. But the thing is fire, man. It's the absolute juice. It'll give you that extra bling to your lures. Uh, even if your lures are working great, just add it on there, and you might catch more fish. I threw it on a Bone Color Whopper Plopper 110, and then I threw it on a black chartreuse kvd uh strike king crankbait uh, i'll show you i'll show you what that looks like here in a second when, when it's on the actual lure too so you get an idea of it of what it looks like um, like i said i caught tons of fish with it i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the lures i definitely recommend uh getting these it flat out catches fish gets bit like crazy as you'll see in the video i actually i, I put my whole fishing day on there pretty much the crankbait outfished everything I was throwing. It outfished the Whopper Plopper. Like I said, Whopper Plopper only caught one fish. Ned Rig only caught two fish. I caught probably 20 to 30 bass and pike on that crankbait. I'm not going to show you every catch, uh, but you'll get the idea from the video. Um, definitely recommend getting some. Like I said, I know it's a little pricey, but go ahead and try one pack. Throw them on your favorite lure. Add a little bit of bling. See if it makes a difference. I hope you enjoy the video because I enjoyed fishing this thing. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Good luck out there fishing and we'll see you next time. Feels 
Smiley. supposed to be right out there got him on the crank got that new uh, spinner the VMC uh, spinner treble hook on here yeah, I got that new uh, VMC spinner on that treble hook just came out for some extra flash some bling to it. <laughs> the second rock best to do that. bass on the crankbait. I barely got him hooked. Nice little large mouth. Probably a one pounder. I thought he was bigger. I'll take it.
bark now jumping like that. Man, that's a big largemouth for a net rig. I'll take him. Got a nice one just under three on the net rig. He's going for it. I can't believe he hit that. He still hit it. Even with seeing me. That's a good small one too. Another one. Nice one on the Ned Rig catching some big ones today. Nice small mouth on the Ned Rig. In his mouth. That's the second fish. Another one pushing three pounds. Another good one. Got him on that tricked out bling bling crankbait. Pretty good. You got a crow dad down in there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> He's trying to go for that crankbait for dessert. Oh, they're pike. 